Hi, my name's Jamie Liu, and I'm here to present the Glenrock Historical Society's Veterans Day presentation. Believing that his League of Nations and collective security theory can make war obsolete, President Woodrow Wilson from New Jersey declared war on the German Empire. He called it a war to end all wars. On the 11th hour of the 11th day in the 11th month on 1918, the guns finally fell silent along all the trenches in France and the Amstice was declared. The terrible war was finally over. Veterans Day was established to commemorate all those fallen in the Great War and the red poppy became the symbol of remembrance as they grew over the graves in Flanders fields. 9.7 million military personnel were lost on both sides of the tragic war and over 10 million civilians died because of the conflict. 116,516 Americans died in the effort to bring about Wilson's goal of peace without victory. Five Glen Rockers gave their lives to the cause of making the world safe for democracy. At the start of the Great War in 1914, this is what Glen Rock looked like. In 1921, the citizens of Glenrock, with the hopes that this would be the last war humanity would ever have to fight and the last war memorial that they would ever have to commemorate, placed a plaque on the rock honoring all those from the borough who served in the conflict. Every year on Veterans Day, VFW members lay wreaths at the plaque at the rock. These are the names on the plaque on our Glen Rock. The five names with the asterisks are the ones that gave the ultimate sacrifice and made their families Gold Star families. The biggest fear Gold Star families have that their child will be forgotten. Their sacrifice is not just our past, it's our future. And we need to never forget freedom wasn't free. The Wreaths Across America wreath laying is really, it's a celebration of life. That one wreath symbolizes one family. These people died for us, and we need to appreciate that. To sponsor a wreath and honor a veteran, please visit wreathsacrossamerica.org. Hi, my name's Dev Parikh. And I'm Kevin McKegney. And I'm Jamie Liu. We are the officers of the Key Club, and today we're here to talk about Wreaths Across America, which is an important annual project to commemorate our our veterans who have passed. Wreaths Across America is an organization that sets out to honor our former service members. National Wreaths Across America Day is a movement to cover all veterans' graves with a wreath. It is important to honor these veterans because they made huge sacrifices for our country. Their hard work and dedication should never be forgotten. This commemoration is also important to the veterans' family members who may be struggling around the holiday. On December 17, 2021, we will be going to the Fairlawn Memorial Cemetery to lay American flags at each of the veterans' graves. The next day, on December 18, we will be going to the veterans' graves marked with the American flags and replace them with wreaths. Key Club is doing this to help honor those veterans who have fallen and to remind everyone of their dedication that they gave to our country. Our goal this year is to place 500 wreaths. During this event, we will first mark the veterans' grave with the American flag and then later place the wreath. We encourage anyone who is interested to come out and join us on December 17th to help lay wreaths or make a donation to the purchase of a wreath. Hi, I'm Hayden Bratskis from Advanced Broadcast Media, and today I have joining me some very special guests for our Veterans Day video. Hi, I'm Brandon Voychek. I'm part of the class 2023 here at the United States Military Academy at West Point. I'm excited to talk to you all today. Hi, I'm uh, John Voychek. I'm a retired lieutenant colonel from the United States Army, and I work at the Military Academy in the Athletic Department. Great, thank you. Um, Lieutenant Colonel, could you please share with us what's the difference between Veterans Day and Memorial Day? Sure, thanks very much. So really, uh, Memorial Day is designed for those who gave their last full measure uh, in our, to allow us to serve our, uh, to enjoy the blessings of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So it's really thinking about those who sacrifice for our good uh, is Memorial Day, where Veterans Day is a holiday designed to recognize the service of all, all our people, men and women who served in our armed forces since the start of our nation. And Grant, would you mind telling us about West Point? Yeah, for sure. So West Point's the United States Military Academy, uh, right off the banks of the Hudson, about 40 minutes from uh, New York City. Uh, The mission is really to educate, train, and inspire leaders and develop them to become future officers in the United States Army. And so, you know, there's a wide variety of things we do here, whether it's taking liberal arts education to sports to, you know, boxing, jumping out of helicopters, whatever it may be. But really the goal is to get you ready to lead those soldiers out in the Army. 
That's awesome. And what inspired you to serve? Uh, personally, there's like a loaded question, right? Um, whether it's the people or just the, the values that, that the nation embodies and someone's got to protect it. Um, really, but it's being a part of something bigger than yourself. Um, go a long way, but I've had a lot of great mentors and a lot of people who have influenced me along the way. Uh, Major Tom Kennedy is one of our close family friends. He died serving the country. Um, and that inspires me to serve every day. Uh, and really just trying to defend the freedoms that the nation stands for. Yeah, and we thank you for that. Um, Lieutenant Colonel Novoychek, could you please share with us some background from West Point through present day? Yeah, so uh, West Point's actually been around since the founding of our nation. So in 1778, the United States Military Academy was actually Fortress West Point at the time, designed to protect the Hudson River, which was what we call key terrain or important to the defense of our nation. Um, and then in 1802, Thomas Jefferson signed the United States Military Academy, as we know it, um, into law. Um, and since 1802, the Long Gray Line has worked to serve our nation and protect our, our country and, and everything we enjoy about it. So uh, when you think about the United States Military Academy, you think about really the people who have been here since the founding of our nation really to, to uh, serve the citizens of the United States. You have Ulysses S. Grant, who's uh, arguably saved the Union as General Grant and then became president of the United States. You have General Eisenhower, um, who led the forces in Europe in World War II and became president. You have people like General Schwarzkopf, who led Desert Storm, all the way up to the current leaders and uh, uh, officers who were leading the operations in Afghanistan that we saw on the news, all the way from the, the ground, most uh, intimate ground combat, all the way up to the highest levels, um, West Pointers have been there leading. It, and really, just knowing that history and, and seeing the people who've come before and, and the people who have made our nation or allowed us to enjoy those blessings of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness really just inspires us every day to develop the next generation of leaders of character who are going to lead our men and women into the crucible of ground combat. Yeah. Um, and you touched on it a little bit there, but is there any other thing that inspired you personally to serve? Yeah. So um, really, as I, we look back at our family heritage, we have uh, family members who have fought on for the, the freedom since the Revolutionary War to include um, the Revolutionary War, the War of 1812, the Civil War, every major conflict that the Americans have fought in. We've had members of our family do it and really I've watched those people um, or read about my family history, read about the history of the United States and the brave men and women and the sacrifice they've made. And it's just really giving something bigger than yourself to other people. Um, there's no greater cause. And, and being able to go to West Point, I'm a 1993 graduate of the Military Academy. And then being able to lead America's sons and daughters in the most extreme operations and, and care about their families. There's nothing greater than that responsibility and being able to be part of that is just why you serve. Yeah, that's amazing. Thank you. And this is directed at both of you. Um, why did you choose to serve in the army above the other branches? Yeah, you got it. All right. So, uh, so in all the branches of service have their, uh, you know, pros and, and cons. Uh, I truly believe that, you know, the, in the army, it's all about the people. Um, we have what's called the people first strategy and everything we do, every operation, everything that action that we do is all based on the people. And, and I just like the, the idea of leading America's sons and daughters in the crucible of ground combat it's critical to have our Navy, Air Force, Marine, Coast Guard, brothers and sisters serving. I just felt my calling towards the Army. Um, and now, of course, uh, you know, we're, we're all um, brothers and sisters in arms, except for certain days during the year. For example, when Army plays Navy in football or <laughs> any sport. Uh, so I have to give a little shout out to Army beat Navy. But uh, yeah. that, I, I, cho I chose the Army because I feel like the crucible of ground combat is where I wanted to lead. Thank you. And Grant, anything to add? Yeah, for me, it was uh, 
always wanted to go to West Point. It's the best academy out there. Uh, it's a direct commission to the Army. And so kind of building off what my dad said, um, the people first organization. And that, that's really crucial to, uh, to just the, my values and what I like to do. Um, it's a great opportunity. Uh, I wouldn't really have it any other way. You know, it uh, offers you everything and, and kind of building off of that. The Army has more boats than the Navy. And we also have a pretty better aviation, uh, aviation corps, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, overall, it's, it's just an awesome organization that I'm excited to be a part of. Okay. And what makes Veterans Day important to both of you? Great. You can go first. Okay. Um, I kind of touched on it a little bit before. Uh, it's a little going into Memorial Day, but just the people before me who served, uh, it's motivating. Um, it's inspiring. It, it, it shows you a great variety of of people and leadership styles and, and backgrounds and, you know, everything. And so having a day to really celebrate those people, that's pretty special to me. Uh, and, and knowing a bunch of veterans growing up in a military family, being surrounded by it every day, um, it's pretty special. And uh, I'd like to just add that uh, when you think about what the 11th November is, and that's really the Armistice Day, the end of uh, World War One, and, and you think about it's really a celebration of legacy of service and that service to our nation, to our fellow citizens. So when you, when you think about why Veterans Day is so important is um, in Memorial Day, you're memorializing those people who gave their last full measure and aren't here to, uh, to celebrate that with us. So we, we celebrate their memory and their sacrifice. But for Veterans Day, those people are your neighbors, your people in your school, uh, your teachers, the person working in a grocery store. It's really a, the Americans that are out there now. And it's a way, whether it's the World War II generation that is still out there, including the Army Women's Corps, um, to Vietnam veterans, to people who are currently serving. It's just a, a great way to appreciate and celebrate uh, what makes this country so great and why those people serve to keep it great. Yeah, thank you. And I want to say thank you to both of you again for joining us. Um, sir and Grant, thank you for taking the time to speak with us about Veterans Day. Um, I wish you both a very happy Veterans Day and may God bless America. Thanks. Go Army.